dominant. Here's a breakdown of one of LeBron's greatest throwdowns. Switching, here's Pierce again. A Smith screen, Ojibwe will defend. Oh! LeBron changed with no regard for human life! Takeoff begins when he drives his left leg down into the court. Elite NBA players like LeBron can generate over 700 pounds of force at liftoff. And this is enough to launch his 250 pound body 43 inches off the ground. As his arm rises up for the one-handed tomahawk, it moves along a 130 degree arc, generating a maximum angular velocity of over 1,100 degrees per second. That's as fast as a Chinook helicopter blade. LeBron stands six feet, eight inches tall. According to Da Vinci's proportional Vitruvian man, his wingspan should be the same as his height. But LeBron would posterize Da Vinci because his wingspan is four inches longer than Da Vinci calculated. And these extra inches are in his hands, able to palm the basketball since the 10th grade. LeBron's hand is almost 20% larger than the average male hand. This enables him to maintain a firm grip on the ball to create 99 pounds of centripetal force as it travels 54 miles an hour through the air. If LeBron converted the vertical velocity of this dunk into a horizontal punch, he could punch harder than Mike Tyson, even in his prime. That kind of power is why some of LeBron's gigantic dunks seem to add up to a lot more than just two points. For Sports Science on ESPN, I'm John Brinkins.